Hi everyone, welcome to Melissa's Intuitive Reads. I am doing a, a collaboration with Healing Days Oracle to, if you see messages that do not resonate with you, go ahead and check out her channel as well. I will leave the link in the description box below so you can actually hear the extra messages that are there. So if you haven't yet, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the pick a card readings. And I also do live collaborations with Healing Days Oracle as well. In addition to that, I want to thank all the subscribers. I want to thank all the new ones. I want to welcome all the new ones. There is a lot of new people here. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for the love and support and everyone that is here. You know, hit over 3,000. I mean, I've been. I've been at this for over a year. I was stuck at 2,800 and I broke um, 3,000. So I'm very grateful for all of you. Thank you so, so much. Without further ado, these are the messages. What, do, what is coming toward you and love and with messages. So messages from the person that is coming toward you. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go with pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Close your eyes and intuitively pick which pile you're drawn to. Let spirit guide you to the right card pile. So we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Results will be posted in timestamps below. Um, the results will be posted. This video will be timestamped. <laughs> I'm getting tongue twisted. I'm so sorry. I'm so used to TikTok. <laughs> I always say the results post into three videos, but it's YouTube. <laughs> so the video will be timestamped. So we have piles number one, pile number two, pile number three. Close your eyes and intuitively pick which pile you're drawn to. Let spirit guide you to the right card pile. Um, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Also, um, these are messages. So take what resonates and leave the rest that does not resonate. Just take the bits and pieces that does resonate. If it all applies to you, great. Um, if not, there are extra messages for with Healing Days Oracle channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, pile number one. These are your messages. Who is coming toward you in love? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these readings. So we have love here. Let's get your tarot. Who is coming toward you in love? You have a lot of major arcanas here. So somebody who is very in intelligent, somebody who can communicate well, it feels like maybe somebody, this is going to be a young person coming into your life. This could be a masculine or a feminine energy. Um, pages can be read as feminine as well. Um, things are happy and things are looking good. Um, however, it feels like here that there's been a lot money has been interfering with your love life it feels like here that you've been trying to take care of yourself things are well balanced but it feels like here there is a negative mindset when it comes to love there it feels like that this person that is coming into your life will help balance out you two will complement each other when it comes to finances and also emotionally it feels like this is somebody you can build a family with, build a happy life with. Maybe you even meet them from a family member because here we have the Six of Cups and this signifies holding on to the past. Or maybe you're holding on to the past um, that has been lingering. It feels like here with the Five of Cups, Pentacles here that you've gone through some hardships when it comes to your finances and career and trying to ground yourself. It feels like this person's going to bounce you out. Um, they might have 
air in their chart they might have their they might be have earth signs in their chart but it feels like this is somebody you can build a strong foundation with this is somebody you can grow with somebody who can evolve somebody who can take care of you somebody who is going to help you balance balance out your finances it feels like here that you are going to be financially secure here somebody who is well off it could be but it feels like here that with the page of pentacles and the page of swords let me get some clarifiers for this can i get clarification for the page of swords please Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. Clarification for the Page of Pentacles, please. Clarification for the Page of Pentacles. So we have the Knight of Wands. So this is definitely... Okay, so definitely this is a person coming into your life, which is the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody who has Earth in their chart. Somebody who is going to help you move forward and help you be balanced when it comes to your finances because it feels like here you've been struggling with thoughts you've been struggling with financial security it feels like here that they are going to help you move forward and help you out of this rut here it feels like you're moving on to better places here it feels like love is going to be coming your way, but it feels like that there are some addictions that are getting the way of your love life. So it's important to be patient. This is somebody you can grow with, somebody who is well off and financially secure and will help you get there. So it will help the, the person coming toward you it's going to help them and it's going to help you out. So have patience, hang in there. Things are going to look up. However, with the Page of Pentacles here, this is somebody who has earth in their chart, somebody who can build a strong foundation with, somebody who is very creative, somebody who has a lot of passion is what I'm getting with the cards here. So let's go ahead and see what messages are from your who is coming toward you in love if you haven't yet hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these pick a card readings okay so we have i am going to prove my love and devotion to you i'm sorry i blocked you but I need some space right now. I love everything about you. Please forgive me. I realized that I screwed up bad. You are all I can, you are all I could ever want and please wait for me. So it feels like here that they want space. It feels like here that they need to prove their love and devotion to you even if you have doubts. It feels like here that they do want you physically and emotionally. Um, they want you to wait for them because they need some space right now because maybe there's some regrets that have happened with the connection. Maybe that they screwed up with you or this is somebody that is um, somebody who is from the past, maybe a friendship or it could be somebody you've been with in the past and an ex comes back into your life. Um, they are they did block you so you do need to accept that they could block you on social media but they're going to come to the light they do care about you they want you to wait for them so this is where the hangman comes in and this is saying be patient yeah forgiveness and maturity and twin flame so this is somebody who is definitely a twin flame into your life there is some forgiveness that they want you to forgive them they realize that they screwed up badly it could be a situation um with the ex or it could be a friendship um it feels like here that there were some regrets back in the past we have they want you to forgive them they act very immature 
and they are your twin flame here. So this is somebody who you have a karmatic connection with. They want to court you. And we have competition and reflection. So they're self-reflecting on what they are trying to do. They are trying, they do love you. They do love you. They do care about you. It feels like here that maybe there is somebody else in your life right now, or maybe there is somebody in their life right now, and it's complicated for them. It feels like here they do want to court you. They do love you. They want you to wait for them. They are in awe of you. They are, they have passion for you because right now it's not the right time to move forward because I asked about timing. And it's not the right time to move forward with this connection. Um, things are lining up. Timing is everything. And things have to be lined up right. Because they have to work on themselves in order to be better for you. This is what I'm feeling intuitively. They want to build a happy home with you. They want to build a solid foundation. This is somebody who is well off. And it's, you're going to help them financially. It could be also with the Five of Pentacles that they are struggling financially and they need to work on themselves in order to get out of that rut. But they do want to build a family with you because with the Ten of Cups here, this is somebody who wants to build a family, um, happy times, good times. They want memories with you. I mean, this card can be read as holding on to the past, but I don't feel that it is. I feel here that they want to make memories with you. So they want you to wait for them. So this is what I have, pile number one. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and head over to Healing Days Oracle for extra messages. Have a great, good luck, pile number one. Hi, pile number two. If you chose this pile, then these messages are for you. Okay, so pile number two, you have, there is blockages here. So there are blockages that are in your, the person who is coming toward you. It feels like here, things are positive. They're working on toward their finances and career. Maybe you two even collaborate with something when it comes to money. It feels like here they are planting the seeds and they feel stuck though. There's some internal conflicts that are happening. It feels like here they're having tired sleepless nights. Um, this could be somebody who wants to build a solid foundation with you or this could be a feminine energy that is coming into your life. So I'm not talking about gender. I'm just talking about energy. Let's take a look and see if the Queen of Pentacles, okay, so there's a lot of stress here. So there's a lot of stress with building a solid foundation. So it's something that is a personality. So we have here with the sun that things are coming your way, happy times ahead. This is somebody maybe you meet through networking, um, maybe through um, some type of networking or some type of group that you usually in when it comes to your career. It feels like here that with the four of cups here that you're refusing to see what is in front of you. Um, or it could be them refusing to see what is in front of them. So it feels like here there is something being offered, but they're refusing to take it. Maybe you actually held, you told them how you truly feel, but they're pulling away. Or it could be that, or it could be that they're just refusing to see what is in front of them because they have to work on themselves. But it feels like they, you meet them through an organization. It feels like here with the two of cups here, you two will come together. There is going to be a wedding with the next, this person that you are going to meet. It feels like here there's a lot of tired, sleepless nights, anxiety over this situation. And I feel like this is you. So let's take a look at the Nine of Swords. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. So another grieving card. 
So it feels like here that there's a lot of heavy burdens that they are actually having at this time. Or this could be also you having tired sleepless nights over, over meeting this person. But this person that's coming toward you, maybe how they are truly feeling at the moment is they are having tired sleepless nights and they're not sure what to do. It feels like here with the five of pen five of wands, there are some internal conflicts that have uh, been happening. It feels like here there might be some competition. Maybe there is another party that might be in their life right now. But I feel like overall that there's a lot of stress on their part. They want to come together with you. But they feel like they're stuck. And they're not sure what to do. But I feel like there is a lot of burnout, a lot of anxiety. So it feels like here they have a lot of blockages they have to work on right now. So let's take a look at the messages. If you haven't yet, hit this, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Okay, let me see what comes up. I miss you and want to see you. I am in awe of you. I'm beginning to realize we have a twin flame connection. So pile number one had a twin flame connection as well. I love being with you, but I can't commit right now. So they're afraid of commitment. They're, they're burdened from the past with a lot of past events that have been happening. So they're stuck in a place that they don't want to be in right now, which represents the nine of swords coming in. I'm having a hard time choosing between the two of you. And I was saying in the tarot that there were maybe two people that they're trying to choose. And wasn't sure what to do. I can't give you what you want right now. My addictions are getting in the way of our connection. So it feels like here that this is somebody who is not ready for commitment right now. This is somebody that... Maybe you already know. They're afraid of commitment. They need to work on themselves. It feels like here that they have a lot of addictions. Maybe a lot of problems they have to work out first before they get into a relationship. They want to try. This is somebody maybe you've been in, in a past life with. Or it could be somebody who you were with. And maybe tried, tried a connection, tried a thing that, but they refused to, and it didn't work out and they wanted to try again later. It feels like here that they can't give you what you want. They have to work on themselves. Let's go ahead and get more cards and see what comes up. There is definitely some chemistry between you two. It feels like here there are changes that are happening with this person that is coming toward you. And it's causing a lot of emotional baggage. And it's, But at the end, it's going to be happy times. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There are differences between you two. Maybe they don't know what your type of love language you have. Um, maybe there are some signals that you've been giving, maybe given the cold shoulder and they are with this other person now and they are involved and they do care about you and they can't choose between the both of you. It feels like here you two definitely still have chemistry and there was some endings, maybe something in the past where you two tried um, to have a relationship or have relations and it didn't work out. Um, the timing was off. It feels like here that there is some, there may be in a committed relationship right now or it could be that they are, make sure it's recording. <laughs> 
um, they're in a commitment right now and they are content, but it feels like maybe that you're dragging this on to try to force between making a decision and they can't. They're feeling helpless. They don't know what to do and they need discipline in their life. So you'll hear something by April is what I'm thinking. Something's going to happen in April because I asked about the timing for this. So pile number two, I hope this resonates. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you, this did not resonate, check Healing Days Oracle channel for extra messages. I will link it in the description box below. Thanks everybody for watching. And we're going to go on with pile number three. Hi, pile number three. If you chose this pile, then these messages are for you. So we have here spying. So somebody might be spying on you on social media. Let's take a look at the cards and see what comes up. Okay, so we have the tower. So maybe in the past that you've gone through a tower moment or they went through something that shook up their world. It feels like here with the seven of cups here that there's a lot of choices. Maybe there's some addictions that actually are happening. It feels like maybe they're going through some addictions right now. Um, with the high priestess here, things have not yet been unveiled. So things are still in the works. It feels like here that they're holding on to control issues. It feels like here that they're not ready for a new start. It feels like here at this moment that ego is getting in the way a lot. It feels like with the magician that they are trying to manifest a future with you. But it feels like it's not working out because of their addictions. Addictions. It feels like with the tower here, they've gone through some rough times. Um, they're trying to bounce themselves out. They're trying to be inspired. They're trying to see a. They're trying to see themselves in a new light because there were some addictions that were happening in the past. It feels like ego. They were very egotistical. It feels like here that. It feels like here that there is love coming your way, but right now it feels like here they had that tower moment and they're trying to move forward and they want to take a leap of faith with you, pile number three. But it feels like here with the magician here that they're trying to manifest something. They're maybe trying to manifest the future with you. Um, it feels like here a water sign masculine energy might be entering into your life. Can I get clarification for the King of Cups? Can I get clarification for the King of Cups, please? Can I get clarification for the King of Cups? So we have the sun here. Somebody who is wants to very happy, wants to ride, wants to ride with you, basically, wants to have a future with you. Um, maybe they're holding on to their finances. They're tight with money. It feels like here they're feeling inspired. Maybe they have some type of addictions they had, they went through back in the past or a lot of overwhelm. It could be depression as well. Um, fogginess in the mind. It feels like here with the fool that they want to take a leap of faith with you. They want to take that chance. But they need to get their ego out of the way. It feels like here with the sun and clarif the king of cups clarified by the sun that they're trying to move forward with you and they do want to be with you. So they're emotionally stable right now. They're emotionally stable to move forward toward you. So it feels like a water sign masculine energy is going to be coming your way is what I'm seeing. So let me get some more tarot cards. Can I get more tarot cards for this situation, please? Who's coming toward you in love? 
tarot cards who is coming toward pile number three in love so we have the seven of swords and we have the lovers so it feels like they were deceiving themselves first uh, maybe this is somebody who is deceiving themselves first or it could be them deceiving other people um this is somebody who might be coming your way that is very deceitful so be careful around that it feels like here they might swoon you they might get you in bed but with the ace of wands here the this is something that they're passionate about um they're passionate maybe there's some fire in their chart as well um with the seven of swords they might be deceiving themselves back in the past this is somebody who can swoon you when it comes to love. So be careful around that because we have the lovers and the seven of swords. So this can signify trickery and being deceitful. So be careful around that. Um, they have some addictions back in the past that they're trying to take care of. Let's see what the messages are to get better understanding. Okay. I want to spend every last moment with you. I am now realizing that it is you that I want. Please don't make assumptions about me without proof. I'm ready to take our relationship to the next level. I'm working on changing my behavior. So they're working on addiction behavior. I hide my true feelings from you because I am broken. I enjoy being intimate with you, but don't want to be in a relationship. And that is where the Seven of Swords comes in because they can swoon you. And that's where the Seven of Swords and the lovers come in. They can be deceitful. So be careful, a player. The words can never express just how much I love you. So this is somebody who might wound you with kind words, sweet words. They're not ready for a commitment right now. I dream of you every chance I get. They can care about you. They can love you. But that doesn't mean they're ready for a relationship or ready to move forward. Um, they, this is somebody who has um, been spying on you. And maybe through social media and watching you. It feels like here that maybe it's somebody that you know. Maybe it's a friend that might be coming into your life. They're, they say they're ready to take the relationship to the next level. But there's also deceit here back in the past. And there's also addiction behaviors. It feels like here, that's where the tower moment comes in. It's where the addictions, they had a wake-up call. And they are broken inside. They don't know how to feel i mean they do want something with you but they're not ready yet if that makes sense they do care about you they don't want to be in the, they want to take things to the next level which could be just sleeping with you but they don't want to be in a relationship period that's what I'm seeing, pile number three. Um, timing is at its finest. They're feeling guarded. They're a commitment phobe. They're, they're a commitment phobe. Um, they are a player, so be careful. Um, they do have jealous tendencies. They live in a I don't know if they live in a fantasy or if you're living in a fantasy of what your idea of a relationship is. It feels like here that this person is guarded. Um, it is somebody that you know. It is a friend. Um, as I was saying, somebody spying on you on social media. It feels like here um, they may be somebody with a family or it could be they want a family, but they're not ready for a commitment yet. They have a lot of jealousy issues. Maybe them living in a fairy tale or this is you living in a fairy tale of what type of life that you want. 
with this person. Lessons are have to be made. It feels like at this time the connection is blocked. Things are too complicated at this time and timing is at its finest. So let's see what other cards come up here. So desire, clearing, and adversity. So we have desire here. So it feels like here that they desire to be with you, intimate with you, but they don't want a relationship with you. They need to clear their energy. They need to clear the negative and bring in the positive, but they need to change their addictions and change their habits. Adversity. They don't know what to do. They're not themselves. It feels like here the connection is at a standstill because a timing is at a standstill with how, with when this person is coming toward you because they're not ready. I mean, they're ready. They're ready to be intimate with you, but they have a lot of things they have to work on. Um, this is definitely a friend coming. This is definitely a friend that you know is what I'm getting at. If you this did not resonate with you, please check out Healing Days Oracle. Um, she does have extra messages, so I will link that in the description box below. And just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Thank you so much for watching pile number three. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much, Healing Days Oracle, for doing this collab with me. I appreciate it so, so much. This was so much fun. <laughs> so enjoy, everybody, and take care. Bye.